G'day YouTube. So, have you ever wondered exactly how internet scammers make their money? I, just as an experiment, decided to give it a go. So, I saw this ad pop up for a number, of, for a little while, for a thing called the Kiwi Method. And the other night I uh, decided to give it a crack, you know, fully expecting that it was a scam, uh, but figured I'd see what happened. So I've sent the, I watched this video, uh, it came through Facebook as well, so that's how I got onto it. I watched the video which promised that you'd make thousands of dollars from, you know, we want no money. Uh, I personally guarantee you $10,000 if, if it doesn't work for you, blah, 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 blah. Figured, fuck it, why not? So, went through the, the process uh, <coughs> from the website, clicked on the links, filled out all the forms, rah, rah, rah. And then it got, then it directed, eventually went through all these different stages and it directed me to a website that was asking for my credit card details. And at that, that point I went, well, no, I'm not giving you that shit until I actually talk to a real person. Um, so I closed it, backed out of it, and thought nothing more of it. About a half hour later, I got a phone call from a very friendly lady that asked, you know, that asked what I'd done, well, you know, why I backed out of it, rah, rah, rah. Well, not that I would backed out of it. I actually said to her straight up that I think it's a scam. And I've been quite honest about my opinion the whole way through the process with everybody that I have spoken to. Currently, I have spoken to one, two, three, Yeah, three people that say they're from the same outfit and two others that conveniently rung me but they were from different uh, companies doing the same thing they just conveniently happened to ring me from the same area code which is uh, 044 or 0044 whatever um, which I am informed by my friend who knows more about these things than I do uh, that that is India or something like that. Anyway, doesn't surprise me in the slightest. Um, all the phone calls say that they're from London or Berlin or, and when you ask them about why it comes up with that, they've got this great answer that, you know, we're running it through that, we have to do it because of the time zone you're in, rah, 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 whatever, I don't care. Um, I was just curious. So, spoke to this lady and she told me this, that, the next thing, and I'm like, right, oh, well, I think it's a scam. But if it works the way they advertise, then okay, I don't have to worry about money. Now, all of us dream of not having to worry about money. Doesn't matter what situation you're in, everybody wants to not worry about money and just live their lives without the concern of where the next paycheck's gonna come from. I understand that, I feel the same myself. My situation, um, is what it is. We'll go into that later on, possibly. Um, so I, I kept, I, I've kept everybody. I'm very blatant about my situation and what I'm going through and why I'm doing what I'm doing with everybody that I talk to. So spoke to these people, told them my situation, told them what I wanted to do, told them how I wanted it to work, and you know, what my interpretation of the advertising material was and signed up I was told by this very friendly lady uh, Rebecca was her name um, were that it's not a scam blah 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 and I said okay what's the minimum buy in to get the ball rolling and it was 250 American which worked out to 351 New Zealand so I thought about it and I thought fuck it, why not, it's only money, um, fully expecting to lose the money, but quietly hoping that I wouldn't, obviously, um, but sure enough, it has turned out to be a scam, 
didn't really surprise me. Of course, I held out the hope that it wouldn't be, like we all would. But if it seems too good to be true, then it's probably too good to be true. So, I transferred over the money, um, which was an issue in, in and of itself, because they wanted a credit card, and then all the rest of it. I didn't have a credit card, I've set up an account specifically for this purpose, which has got a debit card which is attached to it, which I haven't received yet. So, in the end, to get the ball rolling, I used a credit card that my wife and I had, which... I transferred the money over and then I promptly paid off that credit card and shut it down. It's now been, that account has now been closed and the card has been destroyed. So the information that they got, that they got for the money is now null and void. You can't do anything with it. Then I got, I started getting, I got a congratulations email. All of it seems above board by this point, you know, and then I start getting this, they're asking for account verification, because apparently what I've done is set up an account that I've got access to at any time, but to get that, that information, they want a digital colour copy of the credit card, front and back, with all but the last four digits obscured, and on the back of the card obscuring the uh, three digit uh, security pin, or whatever the hell it's called. And on top of that, they also want a digi digital colour copy of a utility bill, a digital colour copy of your uh, of a government issued ID, a passport, driver's license, whatever. Um, I think there was one other thing, but I can't remember exactly what it was. I'll look it up later on and put it in another video. So, now if you send this information to someone, they then have the ability to pretend that they are you. So I had no intention of sending this information to them. Not a bloody chance in hell of them ever getting that kind of information from me. I shouldn't need it to verify an account that I supposedly just opened myself. If it was so easy to open, it shouldn't need this information to be accessible by me. Because apparently this account owns, belongs to me. So, anyway... I left that alone until I spoke with this person, with this lovely lady again. Now, I've never spoken to her again. I've spoken to another crowd, another guy, who helped me set up the account and whatnot. And then that's the only contact I've had with him. Then I get an email from a Mike Spector, I believe his name was, um, saying that he was going to contact me at such and such a time on such and such a night. So, like, okay. I made sure that I was in cell phone range. And... The phone call didn't come through at the scheduled time. First of all, I got a company from someone pretend well, not pretending, I won't say that, supposedly from a different outfit. Um, so I spoke to them, and they didn't clearly, you know, for some reason, they thought that, that, that I'd signed up on their website. Now, there's another part of the story. Anyway, this was about a half an hour or so after when the scheduled phone call was supposed to be ta ta to take place. So I spoke to that person for five or ten minutes until we established that, oh no, it's a different outfit and said, and what she wanted was another lot of money, uh, t double the amount of money that I'd already put into this account. And I told her categorically, I've put out what money I'm willing to put out, I will not put out any more money until it's proven to me that it's not a scam. So she says, oh well I can't help you but I'd love to talk to you later on, blah 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 blah, whatever. Hung up from here. Right oh. and at this point I'm going, right oh, so what happens next? So it's interesting to see how far this goes. Now I tried sending reply emails, they send you emails uh, to make you feel comfortable. So did that but every time I tried to reply to those emails it bounced back at me saying it was undeliverable first morning um, so I didn't think anything of it then within another 10 minutes I get a phone call from the company that I'm supposedly deposited this money with but it wasn't this guy that Mike Spector it was another guy Paul something or other 
senior 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 account broker or something like that anyway um, he goes through all this big spiel uh, uh, and he's trying to get five thousand dollars out of me American which I can only imagine would equate to something like 30 30 uh, what I got no idea I haven't worked out the math don't really care because I was never gonna do it I said no I asked the lady quite clearly what is the minimum buy-in to get this underway she told me that sweet as that is what I'm willing to risk that is all sign me up do what I need to do what do I need to do to make this work and then the big long spiel end of story was uh, eventually he got to the point where apparently I was being antagonistic and accusing him of certain things it's like well no I'm not I'm just stating my position I'm a very blunt sort of person but that shouldn't be an issue if you're dealing with a proper someone that's going to do something for you that's, that's, that's actually above board being blunt and being straight up is not an issue so anyway he hung up and then oh, probably another actually it was less than five minutes later so in the space of an hour I got a phone I got three phone calls all from the same area code different numbers obviously um, but this was from a third company now I find and, and, and I even said to this guy I said I find it highly convenient that on a night that I was supposed to get a scheduled call from somebody I get three uh, three phone calls from three different companies within the space of an hour oh it's because you signed up on their website he said and I said oh yeah when did I do that and he goes oh hang on I'm just looking it up and he comes back to me and he said oh tonight and I'm like well that's fucking impossible because the only thing I've done on the internet tonight was watch one TV show and I couldn't even get that to bloody work I hadn't done anything else online I hadn't even posted a video yet. So, I said, well, that's a friggin' lie. You bollocks, rah, rah, rah. And he hung up. So then I sent an email. I, I started getting these emails, sorry, uh, from Market Trading Limited, based in London, blah, blah, blah. It's all crap, by the way. But they draw you in because they're offering something that we all wish we could do. Now, I start getting these emails about my account is now trading, and I've made, I think the first one is like, you know, I spent $25 on my money that I invested, and I got back $40 or $45 something. So I was like, oh yay, I'm up. And then, another two, you know, it keeps, I had quite, I had a number, I think, I've had, I'm not sure how many, to be honest, um, emails now, because I haven't counted, I haven't checked, and I'm out of cell phone range now, so, so be it. Now, the next couple of emails, it was the trades had gone through, but I'd made nothing, so I'd made a loss. Now, the first, so the first one, I'd made a net gain of $20.25, so I was up by $20.25. The next two emails were losses, so I'd spent $50 and made nothing, so I'm down. So I replied to these, I'm like, thanks, you know, to the first one, I'm, and then the second one, and that comes and says, no, can't do it, it's completely undeliverable, that, is, that email address doesn't, now the, the, the email address that I sent it to was the support email uh, contact. So, suffice to say, what will happen now is, is my schedule, is it, and I, and I even sent an email to this effect, I will try and figure out how to do screenshots and put them up in another video. So what's happening now is that I'm getting these fictitious um, trading reports that are saying I'm spending X amount of dollars and I'm winning or I'm losing, but I lose more than I win. So even when I get a win, I still lose money, if that makes any sense. So effectively, you might make some gains, but overall the losses take more money than you get back from these occasional wins 
So eventually what will happen is at that account, I will lose my $250 original investment and then they'll ask me for more money. I can almost fucking guarantee it. This hasn't happened yet. This is what I'm predicting will happen. Now I've emailed them backwards and forwards, just sent basically snide comments saying, I believe this to be a scam. This is crap, rah, rah, rah. Um, this is what I think is going to happen. And sure enough, this is what is going to happen. Now, at the same time, I've replied to this um, outfit that said I deposited the money. Again, it was market trading sort of thing. It was like, right, I would like my money back. I deposited this amount of money into your account uh, via a, cre a simple credit card transaction. I would like you to deposit back into my account. And, and I've given them my account number. That is the only bit of information I will give them. They can do as easily as I did a credit card transaction back into my thing, but suddenly I need these digital fo color photo co uh, copies of details that would give them access to my accounts. And I blatantly said, "Well, no, I will not send you anything, particularly not details that could give you access to my life." And I get these emails back. Now these emails are riddled with extremely bad spelling um, and grammar they're not correct in, in any way shape or form so this is what they do another warning sign if you are truly dealing with a legitimate company and you are getting a correspondence from them fine we can make mistakes and we can abbreviate and shorten things when we're talking but if you're dealing with a written written communique the grammar should be correct the spelling should be correct everybody's got fucking autocorrect make use of it but they don't these people uh, they must think we are complete fucking morons I remember I went into this expecting to lose my money I thought, I, of course, I held out a little hope that if it's above board, sweet ass, I don't have to worry about money. But realistically, it was always a scam, and I always knew that, but I thought I'd try it anyway. It's only money. Uh, $351. Not a great deal of money. And that's how they draw you in. The little buy-in originally is small, and then, you, and then they show you all this fictitious crap, and get you sucked in so you think oh well I actually made money but then you know things went wrong and, and and I lost money so if I just put a little bit more in I'll I'll, I'll, I'll win next time and it's like well no you won't because it's a scam so I, I will not give them any more money this was purely an experiment these guys don't give a rat's ass my situation I'm living in my youth I'm traveling around New Zealand. I'm a beneficiary on the New Zealand dime. I'm getting $200 a week um, for my benefit. That's fine. My bills per week are approximately about $130. So I have $70 left to pay for fuel and food and dog food for Zeus. Um, I can do it, it's no problem. Um, of course, I hope that my YouTube channel takes off. I can give it a go. I'm travelling around New Zealand. I don't care whether I do or not. I'm still doing that. I'll figure it out along the way. I can pick up work as I go. But my situation is that $350, realistically, if it was anyone else but me, would be a devastating blow. But I went into this expecting to lose it. So I don't care about material wealth. Um... I need somewhere to sleep, and I need something to eat, and I need a book to read, or something to keep my mind occupied, and I've got plenty of that kind of stuff. Or I can go for a walk in a bush, which I am going to do, do videos on. But suffice to say, internet scams are out there, they are completely unscrupulous, and they try to make it look like they're trying to help you out, and but it's just unfortunate circumstances have left, and all they're trying to do is set you up to get more money out of you. Don't give it to them. Don't give them details that give them access to your account. Think about what they are asking for and what you could do with that information. What that information is to you. Um, 
that is what internet scammers do. That is how they work. They draw you in with a promise that, of, of, of something that we all want. We might not admit it to everybody, but we do all want it. They draw you in. They start you off small. They make false premises and grand, grand, grand declarations of, oh, you'll be thousands of dollars. I mean, the video that I watched said that one, if it doesn't work for you, I'll pay you $10,000. Okay, sweet, but there was no way of contacting that particular guy. Um, and then you see a bunch of videos which are supposedly testimonials from people that have tried this system and they've made thousands of dollars in, in, a, in a short amount of time. But here's my bank balance, 700000 It's a big have. Now, this is my current thing. And I will... Ooh, bugger. I will... Bloody... Continue to see how this plays out. And if by some bloody miracle it um, turns out that it is above board which I don't think it is um, I'll let you know I'll put out another video I'm putting out I'm going to be putting out videos all the time but this is how internet scammers get you if they if, if you get drawn into their web they won't let you go easily I'm having a great deal of fun with this now, the spelling, and, and I'm being very blatant that I think this is a scam, I'm very, I'm having a great deal of fun with it, to be perfectly honest, but I will not give them any more money, nor will I give them any more information that could possibly give them access to my accounts, or my identity, I've given them all the information they require about me. That they all they need is my bank account number to deposit the money back into. That is it. But that's why I'm getting these fictitious uh, trading reports, and why they're continuing to ask for information that they have no right to and no need to either. If it's easy enough for me to transfer money from my account via a credit card to their account, then it's easy enough for them to do the same. They'll try and say that they, they don't have access, that they, they have to get the account verified so that I can do the transfer because I'm the only one that's allowed to touch money. Yet, suddenly, I'm getting these trading things. So they're taking money from the account to do these trades and then it's slowly decreasing. So how can they do that but not give me back my money when I request it? Because it's a scam. That is how internet scammers work. They draw you in, they lure you in with a promise of something we all wish was true. But if it seems too good to be true, it is too good to be true. So that's it for this video. If you like what I'm doing, well actually no, you don't even know what I'm doing yet because maybe you've never watched any of my videos. I'm traveling around New Zealand, I split from my wife unexpectedly recently, and I've packed up my life into my ute and my trailer and I'm going to travel around and see this beautiful country that I live in. I live in New Zealand, it's a great place. Now this internet scam that I've been talking about, I've seen it pop up as the Aussie method, I've seen it pop up as the Kiwi method and I'm sure there are more than a dozen different um, versions of the same scam all tailored to whatever area, whatever geographical location you happen to be in. Don't fall for it. It's a scam. It's that simple. So, I'm travelling around New Zealand. I'm going to do some interesting things. Uh, this is just one of the things I'm doing. And I'm going to do a video vlog of how I see the world and why I'm doing what I'm doing and my views and all that sort of thing you don't have to watch but I'd love it if you did it gives me a chance to vent um, and maybe I've got a slightly different view on the world to what you have maybe I'll make you think maybe you'll think I'm a complete idiot at the end of the day I don't care I have my opinion you are entitled to your own opinion but let's all work together, let's work as one 
entity towards the betterment of all human humankind. Because we're all the same. We're one race. We're not all these different races. We're not, um, you know, I'm no better than anybody else on this planet, and vice versa. No one's better than me. They know they just have different circumstances. That doesn't make them superior, and it doesn't make me inferior. Anyway, gonna sign off because this video is very, very long. Um, so, thanks for watching. If you like what I'm doing, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, and you just don't know what you'll see. I don't know what you'll see because I've got no freaking idea. I'm making it up as I go along. So, thanks, YouTube. Until next time, hopefully, you subscribe. Thanks. Bye.